Okay, so kama nilivyokuwa nimesema kwenye ile mechi iliyopita ku kati ya Mbezi na Kinondoni wa season 1 na season 3 kuwa nilikuwa nasema kuwa timu ya Kinondoni watachukua ushindi dhidi ya timu ya Mbezi na hilo limedhihirika kwenye mechi iliyochezwa Jumapili pale BBK Park. Uh, kwanza score nilizo predict kama nilivyosema kuwa timu ya Mbezi wataishia kwenye range ya 40s uh, mid 40s mpaka 50s lakini tumeona kuwa wameishia ndani ya 40s b 43 ile kama sijakosea alafu timu ya Kinondoni they scored better actually kuliko hata nilivyokuwa nimetegemea mimi mimi nilisema watashinda within the 70s lakini wao wameshinda kwa pointi zaidi ya 80 ki factors zilizo kuja kuonekana kwenye hii game sababu mimi personal game sikuangalia lakini game nimeangalia stats zake vitu vikubwa ambavyo kwanza timu ya Kinondoni wameweza kufanikiwa kuvifanya kwanza ni kumzuia John Mashauri ku dominate uh, the rebound section wameweza kumbox vizuri wame minimize his thread na kuweza ku minimize jamaa kuweza kuchukua rebounds and sec- wameweza kukata ile second chance points ambazo jamaa angeweza kupata end up angekuwa anachukua hizo rebounds wachezaji wengine sijui pengine labda walikuwa wamechoka labda kwa labda walikuwa wamekesha na wao wanaangalia game ya i mean the boxing match kati ya Conor McGregor na Floyd Mayweather lakini team ya Mbezi basically just didn't show up they didn't put up a fight at all i mean 40 points or 40 plus points or 30 plus points is a huge gap. Mimi nilikuwa nategemea the first time when I analyze kuwa nikiongea vile maybe itakuwa kama chachu ya to try to prove the society ambao tunaangalia hiyo game yao to try to prove us wrong but they didn't show up at the game. Wamezibitiwa vikubwa at least this time okay compare na game yao iliyopita at least they had better ball movement wametoa assists zaidi kuliko hata game iliyopita they tried to contribute and multiple players tried to contribute rather than in their last game lakini like, they were no match for Kinondoni's athleticism they were no match for their speed they could not stop them in transition they could not beat them for uh, their their own fast breaks they couldn't make points off the fast breaks they couldn't make points off a second chance they managed to contain Shafi as he shoot threes they minimized Steven Temi Honda when you transition when they minimized uh, um nani huyu anaitwa John Mashauri when you rebound section Go overall it was just a better game by Kinondoni i don't know what happened to Bezis you in nani kitatizo gani litokea Maybe it's a psychological thing, maybe it was a physical thing kuwa the guys were just pretty much physically dominant compared to their team. Si hatuwezi kujua na hatuwezi kusema lakini the results just show us that kuwa team ya Kinondoni just beat the crap out of them. I mean that's that's logically the only thing that you can say about team ya Kinondoni zidi ya team ya Mbezi. I think huko mbeleni Bezi will improve uh, watajaribu kuchukua ushindi this upcoming weekend wachukua ushindi ili waweze ku regain their confidence and boost their morale lakini the confidence levels ambazo wanayo kinon team ya Kinondoni hivi sasa sasa hivi it is dangerous possibly I'm not going to call it right now like I'm going to say Team Yakinondoni are going to be champions but all I'm going to say is Team Yakinondoni is a team which should be you know up there Some we never one can as a save team kama team ya Temeke kwa mfano wanaishi by former glory kuwa sisi ndo tulishindaga bibao kita ya mara ya kwanza sinyu sisi tulishindaga bibao kita sisi mara nyingi tunatoaga wachezaji wazuri kwa bibao kita but temeke at the moment hasn't showed up na team ya mbezi kidogo inaonekana hadi hivi sasa maybe age is catching up to them they're not as quick as they used to be you know they get points they win games but they're not just as scary as when you come to play against a team kama team ya Kinondoni right now i mean team ya Kinondoni have a meaning kosa pale 
uh, and other players as well. Wanna coach Pale Ashraf Haroun. So it's an all around pretty good team throughout all five positions and they have depth on their bench, which is what which is what is much more scary okay, compared to other teams. Kama, you have a solid starting five and your bench players, your role players, the sixth man comes into the game and can put up maybe five points, maybe two steals, a few rebounds, a few assists. That is better than just having five good solid players starting in your lineup and having a bad bench so i think at the moment the team to be to be honest when he's competition these guys are the real deal and these guys are going to go places in this tournament and right now i'm not really seeing anyone who's going to be able to stop them if they want to lose it's this this tournament Bibo Kita is kinondonis to lose to be honest